Okay, for the limit of sine theta over theta, as theta approaches 0, equals 1. Theorem number 10. Okay, saan ba ito nanggaling? Bakit equal to 1? Okay, for example, meron daw ako rito nga uh, circle. Kunyari, circle yan. Then, kukuha lang ako ng slice. Ito yung slice natin. Okay? So, geometry, itong part na ito, yan yung uh, sector, no? So, area ng sector. So, i-zoom ko dito. Kunin ko na yung aking slice. There. Tapos, yun. Pwede na. Then, meron daw itong, say, angle theta. And of course, kung ito ay circle, from this point, the center, up to the periphery of the circle, this is R. And this is also R. Radius yan, no? Radius. So, kung R yan, R din ito. So, radius ito, radius ito. So, alagyan natin ng mga name yung mga point. Yung, yung center, center O. This is A, B. So, meron tayong area of sector, sector ABO. Okay? Naalala nyo pa yung area ng sector sa plane geometry. So, uh, area of sector is one half R square theta, where theta is in radians. Okay? Zoom natin. There. Okay? Kala ko perfect. Assuming perfect ang ating sector, no? Okay. So, if I'm going uh, to draw here a vertical line. Dito. Perpendicular line, no? Yan. Para meron akong 90 degrees. Yan. Okay? Tawagin natin yung point, itong point na ito. Tawagin natin C, point C. Okay? Then, magdodrawing naman din ako dito ng tangent line from B. Okay, paakyat. There. Then itong radius sa taas, i-extend natin ito. Extend hanggang sa mag-meet yung dalawa. Tawagin natin itong point D. Okay, point D. Now, kung mapapansin natin, meron tayong tatlong area dyan. No? Yung area ng uh, maliit na triangle, area ng sector, an area nung big triangle, no? Yung DBO. Okay? So, lagyan natin to ng... Paligitin ko lang konti. Okay? Dyan. So, ang ibig ko sabihin, meron tayong area of sector uh, ABO, no? ABO. Area of sector ABO is greater than the area of triangle ACO. Obvious naman, ano? So, ACO. And, but less than the area of DBO. O, di ba? Area of triangle DBO. Okay? Pwede rin uh, BDO. Parang bangko, no? Okay, the DBO na lang. Okay? So, what is the area of the triangle? That is one half base times height. One half BH. Okay? What is the area of sector? One half R squared times theta. Theta is in radians. Okay? So, solve natin ito. Liitan muna natin. Para meron akong space. Okay? Area of triangle ACO. O, tingin lang kayo sa ACO. Ito. ACO. Yan. Yung triangle na yan. Okay? So, area of triangle ACO is one half times the base. Ang base niyan, OC. Di ba? From this to this point sa C. Ang height niyan is line AC. Okay? And ang sabi, less than. Area of sector, what is the area of sector? One half R square theta. 
theta again is in radians. Less than triangle ule, yung big triangle. One half times the base. Ano ba yung base? OB. Okay, OB. What is the height? The height is DB or BD. O DB na lang. DB. Yan. Pero hindi pa natin ito masusolve. Dapat isolve natin to in terms of R, in sine, in cosine, or tangent. No? Okay? Anong ibig ko sabihin? Here. Halimbawa, one half. What is OC? OC is the uh, adjacent side of the small triangle. So, kailangan natin siyang, uh, kailangan natin makuha siya in terms of R and theta. So, paano yon? Let's say dito. Ito daw yung A, C, O. Ito yung theta. Alam natin, from O to A, that is the radius. Okay? Ang kailangan natin, ano ba yung uh, OC in terms of R and theta? So, pwede tayong gumamit ng, uh, gagamitin natin yung length na to, ito, yung OC. So, cosine. Cosine, uh, cosine theta is, Adjacent, di ba? Adjacent over the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is R. Adjacent is line OC. So, what is OC? OC is equal to R cosine theta. Yun, dito. Lagay natin. R cosine theta. Now, what is AC? Oh, what is AC in terms of R and theta? Sine. Dahil ang sine theta is equal to opposite over the hypotenuse. At ang hypotenuse ay radius. Yung opposite is AC, line AC. So, line AC is equal to R sine theta less than one half R square theta. Okay? Then, less than one half. What is OB? O B. Big triangle na tayo, ha? O, B. O, B is radius. O, A, D, R ito. And what is D, B? O, dito. Tingin kayo sa big triangle. O, hiwalay natin. This is the big triangle. This is point D, B, O with angle theta. And this is R. Yung hypotenuse dito, hindi mo alam. Kasi meron ka pang extension dyan, eh. Sa may dulo ng simula ng A to D. Okay? So, hindi mo alam yan. Ngayon, ang kailangan mo is the DB. Ano ba yung pwede dito sa DB? Okay? So, given yung adjacent, given yung angle, ang hinahanap mo ay DB. O, eh di tangent, tangent theta is opposite over the adjacent. Ano ba yung adjacent? Line OB. And that is R. Ano yung opposite? Yan yung hinahanap mo, dB. So, line dB is equal to R tangent theta. Okay? R tangent theta. Okay? Sige nga. One half. R times R, R square. Cosine theta, sine theta. Less than one half R square theta. Less than one half r square r times r then tangent theta yon then tuloy natin what if i divide ko ito by everything no if i'm going to uh, multiply na lang pwede rin if i'm going to multiply everything by let's say 1 over 1 half R square, sine theta, ano kaya ang mangyayari? O, wala magbabago dito kasi lahat sila bibigyan mo ng 1 over 1 half R square sine theta. O, diba? So, kapag ito ay multiply ko dun sa kanya, sa 1 half R square ko sine theta, sine theta, makakancel yung 1 half R square sine theta. Matitira dito is the cosine theta. Okay, dito naman tayo sa sector. Kapag i-divide ko sa kanya ito, or i-multiply ko yung 1 over 1 half R square sine theta, makaka-cancel yung 1 half R square. Ang matitira sa kanya is theta over 
Sign Theta. O di naman tayo sa big triangle. Ano ang natira? Yung sine ay yung tangent theta is same with sine theta over cosine theta. Okay? So, kung imumultiply ko pala ito dito, this one, itong 1 over 1 half r squared theta, sine theta, alin ang makakancel? Makakancel yung 1 half r squared sine theta. Anong natira? 1 over cosine of theta. Ayun. May liwanag na. Nakikita na natin. Ano ang ibig sabihin yan? Okay? Kung i-invert, gagawin natin siya ng inverse, no? So, ito, let's say, gawin ko itong 1 over cosine theta. Balik ta rin ko lahat. Ito naman, sine theta over theta. Ito naman, cosine theta over 1. Siyempre, yung inequality sign, magbabago din. Yan. Ganyan na nangyari. Now, what is cosine 0? Cosine 0 is 1. Let's say approaching 0 ito. So, ito pala, 1 over cosine, kapag approaching 0 yung theta, yung value nito, ito, 1 over cosine theta, approaching 1 din, approaching unity. O, di ba? So, lagay natin, lagay na, approaching, approaching unity. O, say 1, approaching 1. Yung cosine theta, ganun din. Cosine theta or cosine 0, or the limit, no? Cosine 0, approaching, approaching, uh, Approaching 1 din. Approaching unity. Or approaching 1. Samantalang itong sine theta na nasa gitna, over theta, nasa gitna ng dalawang approaching 1. So, pwede mong sabihin that this is approaching 1 din. ba? Approaching 1, approaching 1. Pareho sila approaching unity. So, ibig sabihin, approaching unity din yan. So, therefore, pwede nating sabihin that the limit of the sine theta over theta as theta approaches 0 is equal to 1. Kasi nga, dito, kung approaching 0 yung theta, approaching unity ang answer natin. Sa cosine theta, approaching 0 naman din yung theta, approaching 1 din ang answer. So, dahil itong sine theta over theta ay nasa gitna nung dalawa. So, pwede nating sabihin that the limit of sine theta over theta as theta approaches zero is one. Yes? Yes.